My name is Ellie Glynn. I'm the Assistant Director for Exhibitions here at the Harvard Art Museums. And as such, I'm the lead designer for Painting Edo. So what is exhibition design? I like to boil it down to uh, the process of mediating the architectural space of a gallery and the objects that are being presented within. In 2018, I made a research trip to Japan to find intact examples of traditional interior architecture and to see how are contemporary architects adapting the traditional vernacular to very modern buildings. The traditional presentation format for hanging scrolls is a tokonoma, an interior alcove. So our cases, which we designed and built for this exhibition, strike a balance between the tradition and the reality of the modernist building in which this exhibition is being presented. In this exhibition, we have platforms that raise the viewing height of our folding screens because in the traditional context, both the viewer and the folding screen would be seated on the floor. So this casework preserves that viewing relationship. Another touch is the top surface is composed of multiple sections where the direction of the wood alternates a nod to tatami style flooring. Throughout the show, you'll have different types of experiences with art clusters of works where they're meant to be viewed in relation to one another, and you'll have moments where you're focused on one work, such as this piece here. This happens to be one of my favorite moments in the show from the installation design standpoint. Not only is the subject of the painting itself very dramatic, but the way that it's presented where it's enclosed on three sides adds to the sense of surprise because you have to move around the corner and then this painting reveals itself all of a sudden, and it's a quite shocking scene. The arrangement of the Hoitsu series, Birds and Flowers of the Twelve Months, has been modeled after traditional Japanese architecture. It's a trapezoidal arrangement, and we saw the same sort of approach updated by I.M. Pei for the Miho Museum. It seemed like a natural fit for this design solution, which the challenge had been, how do you present this series without taking up the entire width of the gallery? The Feinberg Collection has a strong sampling of fans, there's a traditional idealized practice called ogi nagashi, where people would gather on a bridge at the end of the summer season, and they would cast their fans over the railing and watch them flutter downward in a kind of elegant and short-lived cloud. So our installation is inspired by this ideal. Our very talented installation crew devised a technique where the frames could be mounted at different depths, and they will appear to be floating off the wall. The challenge actually for me as a professional designer is to turn off your analytical side of your brain and to try to experience it with the effect that it's intended to have. It's a very intimate environment. It's a very calming environment. It creates a kind of a respite from the hectic nature of contemporary life. <laughs> 